Welcome to another Bing product pick. This time we're going to take a look at the Sherlock Micro Bow Sight IQ Retina Lock. And this bow, this bow sight's been out for a few years, and I heard about it. Uh, became a Sherlock dealer uh, this year, 2013, and have had some of the products in the shop. And, and my sales rep kept talking about this IQ sight, and I heard a lot about it. And so I decided to give it a shot, and he sent me one. And so the, the thing about this sight is that it has what they call a retina lock system, which is supposed to help you shoot better and basically create a more consistent um, shot so that you can um, have, have an extra reference point, so to speak, to line up and help you, to sh and help you shoot better. And they actually guarantee that you'll um, increase your range by about 20 yards. This is already money back. And so I got, this is the, uh, the packaging of what the site comes in. And the site comes in the, in the pack with everything you need. It comes with the, the mounting screws, it comes with some extra uh, windage and um, elevation adjustment uh, screws. And then it also comes with a set of Allen wrenches too. So, you, so everything on there uh, is right in the box, everything you need. And it comes with directions that are very well laid out. Um, and then there's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube and their website that kind of details how to set it up. Just a quick overview of how to set set the thing up is that uh, you get it mounted to your to your bow, and um, there's two holes. Uh, you got two choices there as far as mounting it. Uh, there, I got it in the the further back holes, but you can go through the front one. And then there's um, two sets of holes as well to mount your quiver mount. This is a uh, tight spot quiver mount and but, but I could put it either in the back or the front and then you know I could have the sight forward or back as well. And um, this is on an Energy 35 Elite bow and uh, but it melts right on there, no problem. That, that part anybody can do. Um, and really anybody could set this sight up too. I mean it's very, very simple. It may kind of scare you when you think about the technology and, and, the, and the things that are out there, but it's nothing to worry about. Um, but a quick overview, you, you put the put the sight on and then you go out and you sight in the 20 yard pin. And once you get consistent with that 20 yard pin, then you're going to adjust the retina lock so that the green dot, uh, the black dot is in the middle of the green. And, and I'm going to go over that in just a minute. And then after that, uh, you can go, in, go sight your other pins in and everything should be you should shoot tighter grips because you're gonna have that second anchoring point. Some guys shoot these without peeps. I'm still shooting a peep. I have for going using a um, a kisser button, um, and so I'm just using my peep and and, and the sight and kind of anchoring and, and that's how I'm shooting. Um, but the, whatever fits your style, whatever you're most comfortable with, that's what you all do. Don't try to do what you've seen somebody else do. Do what's most comfortable for you so that you have a, cons a consistency with your shot, but then, but then you also have confidence with your shot because shooting is just like anything else in like golf. You need to be comfortable. I mean, no matter what, what the clubs are or, what, or the, the ball you're hitting, you need to be comfortable and have confidence. And if you have those two things, you know, you can sink the free throws, you can hit the putt, you, you can hit your driver, or whatever. And so, um, but, this, but this is the IQ sight. It has .019 pins as the center set on there. Um, it has windage and elevation, which are toolless adjustments. And the way you adjust those is the, the, the x-axis, it has this no, tiny knob here that you just turn. You can turn that by hand. And what that does is unloosen it. And once you unloosen it, it has tick marks here at the top. And then you, do, you can just turn it and adjust it left and right. Same thing here. There's an adjustment here. You turn that knob and unloosen. And then you can turn uh, this, this knob at the top, and it's got tick marks there and to do your up, your up and down adjustments. And th so that's very, very simple to do. No tools are required. Um, now the pins, as you can see here on the side, uh, it, this is a five pin sight. That, and that on that note, they come in three different models. You got the five pin, the three pin, the seven pin, and they're right and left hand. So you have to order Pacific to if you're right hand or left hand and you adjust adjust those Allen wrench just unscrew them 
and those can slide up and down to, to get your adjustment right when you're sighting in uh, the rest of your pins. Um, just to kind of give you a, a close look here at what the pins look like. Uh, maybe we'll put the phone back there so you can kind of see a, um, what the pins look, look like. But very nice and bright. Um, it does have a similar type um, thing like the black gold on top where it's letting a lot of light in but then it kind of dampens some light so that uh, your pins don't get too bright on you. And if I can demonstrate, which may be hard, um, you may can see the green dot in there moving around. Um, let's see if we can get in here close. Yeah, it may be hard to do that. Uh, maybe if I turn it like this, you can see that green dot in there move around. And and what it is, the black, the black, there's a black dot that's fixed, and then there's a green dot in there that moves. And that that adjustability is done right here on the top of the site. And there's an Allen wrench that comes with that, and that's that moves moves it up and down. And then there's another adjustment hole right here on the side and that's your left and right and by sticking that allen wrench in there you adjust that little green glow little green ball behind that black dot so that it's centered so from that point forward once you got 20 pin your 20 yard pin sighted in you can draw back and you can always make sure you got the same grip and what and the science behind it and some of the things that we're showing does make sense because if you or slightly torquing your bow or kind of anchoring a little bit different each time uh, the further you go out the more that propagates to your shooting and, and and that's nothing new I mean if you have a bad habit at 20 yards that's gonna be amplified at 40 yards because more distance between you and the target and my general re overview of this site is a great site I'm I'm just a hunter I'm not a target shooter um, but I've already seen my groups tighten up and I've just used it 20 and 30 yards. Um, some people can just stack arrows and Robin Hood arrows all day. I, I'm just a hunter. I practice when I can because I'm busy with other things. And, but, this, but this, I have seen my groups tighten up. And, 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 what it, and it boils down to that retina lock where you're pulling back and then before you release that arrow, you kind of center and make sure you're kind of Got you got it where it needs to be, and you let the arrow go, um, which is is great because because you can just take a quick glance up. You're already looking that direction, and just see where that green dot is, and just make sure you're not doing something that's very off or awkward. And so that moment of truth, you can just look up. I, I haven't heard some people complain saying, "Well, if you look up, you know you're going to take your sight off," but you can just look up just for a split second. And really, what the whole purpose of the sight is to condition you to proper form so that you know they, they don't say this and, and I'm sure they don't recommend it but in the long run you could take maybe a piece of black electrical tape or something like that and color, cover over the retina lock and, you, and, your, and, your, and your shot form should be so tuned and, and, and polished that you're holding the same thing each time but it's just an extra reference point I really like this site we sell um, all the Sherlock's Sherlock sites in the in the shop here. Um, we are running some specials on the retina locks, so contact us about those. And uh, they vary in different prices. They're going to be up on the website soon as we're rebuilding. But if you have any question about anything um, site made by Sherlock or anything made by Field Logic, um, you can give us a call at 336-564-2400. You can come by our shop here in Clemens and and check out the stuff. Put your put your hands on them. Um, you can shoot it, whatever you know, and get comfortable with it. And then you can also visit our website at www.beoutdoors.com, and then you can email us as well. There's another contact point at eric Eric, that's me at beingoutdoors.com, and look for, for us in the future to do some more uh, site reviews. We're going to try to be getting some more of these in to get some feedback and um, kind of help help you make up your minds as the 2014 bows are starting to come out and. Uh, starting to hit the shelves and some people are looking to upgrade their equipment but Sherlock IQ Retina Lock site is a great site and I would recommend it to anybody from a beginner to somebody who's just wanting to kind of tighten up their groups. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.